Welcome back to West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. I'm Dan Shepard and I'm sitting here one more week with the coach of the Stars, Coach Chumbler. Coach, welcome back. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And it seems like forever, really, to me, since we've sat here, uh, even though the show is called Basketball Weekly, last <laughs> week we did take a week off. Uh, right. You guys were headed to Lindsey Wilson, and what happened on that trip? We hit a blizzard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we left Paducah, and it was just raining, nothing right. bad. And we got up past Dawson Springs, and it was it started snowing. And uh, it started out, wasn't too bad, but we missed our exit and got to Morton's Gap. You know, it's only about two miles past. And it was snowing so bad the road was covered. Mm. And we decided we were going to go to Beaver Dam and reassess the situation. Mm -hmm. But on the way back to our exit, there were two cars that were already off the road. <laughs> so we're like, no, we're going to head they, back. They were so. assessing the situation for you. Yeah, they yeah. did. They made our decision <laughs> easy. So we had to come back. Right, right. And that game is not going to be rescheduled. Probably not. We, we talked about rescheduling it, mm -hmm. but there's really just no time for us to right, right now. So. Right. All right, Coach. And then uh, last week, the only game we've got really to talk about is when uh, you guys played Earl C. Clements. Right. And Earl C. Clements, you never really know what they're going to bring. Uh, there's no way to scout them. There's no you, film. You just, they show up and that's what they've got. And, and that's, that's the only way to do it because there's right. no film. You can't find scores. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you don't know what's going to show up. Right. And they had a couple of players. They had, right. they had a big kid that, that we'll be oh, looking yeah. at for next year. Yeah, I'm he's really right nice. Really he is. He's nice about 6'8 and uh, shoots the ball well. Big body. Right, too. right. He's big 6'8. Yeah, uh, I thought you guys played really well and had to really played well throughout, I thought. Well, our defense has really improved, and once we improve that, you know, it, it kind of feeds our offense. Mm -hmm. And our press, we couldn't really press before. We weren't disciplined enough mm -hmm. to press. And now they've, they've kind of bought in, and it kind of feeds our offense. That's why we're scoring so many points right now. Right. Okay, Coach, when we come back, we're going to be talking about those highlights of the Earl C. Clements game. You're watching WK Stars Basketball Weekly. <music> West Kentucky Community and Technical College's one book read of Saints at the River tells the story of a town divided by a tragic accident. You can meet Ron Rash, New York Times best-selling author of Saints at the River, March the 8th at 7 p.m. in the WKCTC Clemens Fine Arts Center. For more information about the free presentation, visit artsandfocus.org. We are back at WK Stars Basketball Weekly, and Coach uh, Earl C. Clements, like we talked about before, you just don't know what they're going to have. No. Uh, but, but like you said, they had some they had some good players. Oh, they, they do. They they've got some talent, mm -hmm. and um, they they're fast. You know, right. they, they were big. They're right. talented kids there. Right. I guess they have trouble. Uh, I don't know how the situation is, but it seems like they may not necessarily play together 
you know, as a team the entire year, so they're bringing in different people. Right, right. Yeah, and that's the thing. I don't know what kind of turnover they have mm -hmm. as the year goes on. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know how it works. Right, right. But they, uh, but they definitely had some talent in this game, Coach. Here are the highlights. There's Pablo taking it strong to the hoop here in this yeah. basket here. Still falling away a little bit, but I mean, that's a good shot. A little bit, but you can you can almost afford to fall away when you're that close to the basket. Right. That's our defense feeding our offense right mm -hmm. there. Got all five guys down the floor. Yeah, there was some times when, uh, goodness, early here, I was beginning to wonder if Clements was going to get it past half court. They, they were so turnover after turnover after turnover. Right. But that, that's where our half court guys are doing a much better job. They're much more disciplined. Mm -hmm. Like right at last play, you know, they, they they, they were in position where they're supposed to be. Jake shot well. Mm-hmm. We've talked about that so many times before. That just opens up so much. Yeah. Good little Good. stutter step yeah. there. Little stop and go. That's a great move. You guys open up, get a 10-point lead really quickly. Seemed like and held that for a little while and then pushed it on out even farther. Everyone, for the most part, running the floor pretty well there. Great run. He's hard to stay in front of. Yeah. He's just so fast. Yeah. Him, him, him and DJ, you know, they, they can pretty much get to the rim at will. Right. You, you really, in all the games you've played, you don't see any guys faster than those two guys. No, no, you don't. I mean, they're as fast as there is out there. That's a good shot by E. I wish he would square up a little bit more right. sometimes, but I mean, he did a good job there. A little baby hook from yeah. him. Yeah. That's a great pass. Good follow by E. And there he is. There's E again on that press. Yeah, right and, there, and right? he can be dangerous up there. You know, he, he's long and athletic. Great job of DJ pushing. Good job of Kilder running the floor. Mm -hmm. there we, little, go. We, we got five bodies. Little you know. Euro step and goes yeah. to the hole there. Good job of pushing it there. If they're not going to stop, you go. Yeah, you just That's keep going did. until they stop the ball, and he. That kid started falling about the time Kilo got to the free throw <laughs> I, line. I would have too, honestly, <laughs> if I saw him running at me. <laughs> strong move. Very strong move. Good job, of Andy, to challenge the shot. That's a great outlet pass. You're right. And look that's, at DJ there nah, catching it. And, pass it I mean, that's just great court presence. Good extra pass by Kilo there. Seems like Kilo's bringing the ball down the floor a lot in this game. Yeah, yeah. He, he, well, it's like we said, from the beginning of the year now, he's doing such mm -hmm. a better job of taking care of the ball. And, you know, when he does that, I, I don't mind him bringing the ball up. We can't say too much bad about him because he's going to be in our next segment here. So. <laughs> he knows. I'll say with him here what I say behind him. You know, I'm pretty even. Well, I don't want him bulldozing this chair I'm sitting in now. <laughs> He'll be all right. <laughs> Great pass. Pablo man, that still looks so easy right there. Yeah. Good job with Thomas Garner running the floor. Mm-hmm. Thomas played pretty well. Manny Walquist was right there. If it if it would have yeah. fallen out, he was right there to put back too. We did a good job of rebounding also. We mm -hmm. didn't give up many second shots. And there, what I was just talking about, yeah. Andy Walquist. Great to follow by Andy. To Kevin, close the Kevin half. needs to hit that shot, but that's a great True. follow by Andy. True. That's going to close the half right there, and you guys are up 60 to 34, Coach. And, right. Uh, you guys are going strong, and you really just didn't let up even even from there. You just kept your foot on the gas. And that's not always easy to do. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes you get a big lead like that, and you got a tendency to get complacent. But mm -hmm. you know, they did a good job of keeping it up this game. Right. Right.
unselfish. I don't know yeah, if he was that, too unselfish there. He could. He had a shot. Pretty good that, shot. That's a good problem to have. <laughs> yeah, There's that baby hook again. Yeah. Yeah, that, and that's hard to stop. You know, when you jump as high as he does. Great and like we were talking about earlier, I mean, the guy that was guarding him there was a good player too. Oh, and he's, he's a solid six eight. That's a great challenge by man. Here comes another challenge. Yeah. Look at that pass. Yeah. And they just have the ability to just kick it into an extra gear there on that break, and you're just not going to catch them. No. And that's a great left hand by Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Lawrence played well this game. Yes, he And did. I was glad, you know, but him, he came from Earl C. Mm -hmm. So I was glad for him to get to show off a little bit what he's learned. Yeah, he has come a long way. You're not going to stop that. <laughs> he's he's showing off a little more what he's learned. Yeah, that's just that's why our rims aren't in the best shape all the time. <laughs> yeah, when you got him pulling down on them, uh, imagine it creates some havoc on those <laughs> yeah. rims. That's a strong young man. Here he, here he is again. Back Coming out of nowhere. Yeah, great help side. Look at Pablo seeing the floor, looking, and nobody really stops him. So yeah. he's just coast and, to coast. And he, we've got four guys out there who really handle the ball well. Mm -hmm. And Andy doesn't handle it bad. That's a Tr great move. Tremendous spin move right yeah. there. That poor kid, he's just out of the picture. <laughs> he faked him out. So much there, just <laughs> yeah, he's completely out of the lane there. Great job, Anthony, having his hands up. You know, he caused it and then ran the floor and got an and one. You know, that's, that's, and that's a tough shot he hit right yeah. there too. He needs to do that more. Mm -hmm. He that's needs to do that more all season. But Thomas Garner, oh, he missed it. But there, there's, but there's a 5'11 your, your, leading rebounder. <laughs> your leading rebounder. <laughs> Andy did a good job of blocking it. I didn't like right. him giving up ground before he did. Right, yeah. Now, how many shots did DJ hit like that? I mean, he, <laughs> just, he just went and went and went. Well, like I said, I mean, he's going to be out there. All oh, you got to yeah. do is just throw it to the other end, and he's probably going to run it down. Great left-handed hook by Andy. But DJ, DJ's as fast as he needs to be. Mm-hmm. He almost carried the ball. Good job by Andy with the left hand again. Good strong rebound yeah. there. And there's good left hand by Kilo. There's Kilo running the floor. That's a good job. Zach Kim was probably six two, and that kid six eight, and he just did a great job of getting position. Mm -hmm. There's a shot by Tommy. When he shoots, he's a good shooter, but he has a tendency to flip it sometimes. Hmm. What do you mean, flip it? Uh, the Steph Curry flip. Uh, and there's okay. only one Steph Curry out there. <laughs> now this move right here, let me tell you. Something. Right, I was, I was amazed now, when I saw him. And obviously, I the love bench Coach was Hill, too. but Coach Hill's over there taking credit for this shot. But let me tell you something. <laughs> Nobody taught him that move. Coach Hill wow. can't do that move. Wow. I can't do that move. <laughs> hey, that's Lawrence Johnson practicing on his own. I mean, that's wow. a great job by him. And that when he took off, I'm over there like, holy moly, what's getting ready to happen? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he did the longest Euro step in history. He started at about yeah. half court. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. He, he, uh, just, he deserves a ton of goodness. credit. But it's just hard work. Yeah, they, the, the kids said that. Before the game, he was working on that move over and over and over. Wow. And while Coach Hill has taught them guys, those big guys a ton, mm -hmm. nobody taught that young man that. I mean, wow. that's a that heck was, of a that move. That was tremendous. And your bench went crazy. And uh, goodness, we were we were going crazy uh, back running cameras. And it was, it was nice. It's not every day you see a 45-foot Euro step. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, mean? <laughs> it's, I know. And you got to see it twice here. On, yeah. Uh, on uh, WK Stars Basketball <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> All right, Coach, uh, that was a great game. You guys played it, a great game. It was. Game I, I, I was pleased. Uh, and, and 
hopefully we can keep it going. Mm -hmm. But like you said, you know, sometimes they have a tendency, like we did against Crowley's Ridge. Mm -hmm. We've had um, two days of practice that I would call subpar at best. Mm. Um, yesterday we kind of cut it short and I kind of sent them home. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we'll get back on track. Uh, we got today, tomorrow, Friday. Right, and that's it. That's it. That's I mean, it. And we've got to get it back on track before right. then. If you, you can't know. get up for this, I mean, it's it's this is all all you got left in the season. That's so. it. You know, we have some kids. We got some kids like Kilo and um, uh, Pablo who have already signed. You know, mm -hmm. uh, their their position. They're going on to play basketball. Right. Emmanuel and Jake are probably going to get two. Um, but some of them, it's their last hurrah, mm -hmm. and they need to make the most of it. You right. know, and. It's just time to get up and play. Right. So. Hopefully, hopefully they will. And speaking of Kilo, we're going to be talking to him in the next segment. You are watching WK Stars Basketball Weekly. <music> West Kentucky Community and Technical College's one book read of Saints at the River tells the story of a town divided by a tragic accident. You can meet Ron Rash, New York Times best-selling author of Saints at the River, March the 8th at 7 p.m. in the WKCTC Clemens Fine Arts Center. For more information about the free presentation, visit artsinfocus.org. Welcome back to WK Stars Basketball Weekly. I'm here with uh, Kilder Gonzalez. Kilder, welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're on here this week, and you got some really good news. Uh, you are, have received a full scholarship to yeah. play basketball. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, um, I've been talking uh, with about five schools about mm -hmm. scholarships and stuff. But finally, the best offer I had was from St. Gregory's University. Mm -hmm. And, well, I already signed with them. Nice. Um, yeah, that's it. And hopefully I'll get to play with one of my teammates, which is Pablo. Right, which right. Which is very good. And uh, you, you guys are going to get, Pablo's already signed out there yeah, as well. Yeah. So congratulations to Pablo on that. Uh, both of you guys getting full scholarships out there. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And St. Gregory's, tell me about St. Gregory's. Well, I've talked to the assistant coach a lot, and he told me that they're usually a very good team. They get to the uh, uh, Final Four and stuff. But mm -hmm. this year, they didn't have a very good record, right. uh, which is why they said that they need us and they want us to be there. Mm -hmm. And that's. Like, that's all I know about them. I don't right. know. They are NAIA school out yeah. of uh, Shawnee, Oklahoma. Yes. Which, is, which isn't far from Oklahoma City. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes from, from Oklahoma Right, City. and uh, they're also looking at Emmanuel Abbage, too, yeah. right here. Yeah, but, hopefully they can work something out with him. Right, that'll and be. that's, uh, that'd be three great additions to any team out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad, so glad to see this happen. I mean, such a great guy. Yeah. Uh, Pablo and E-Man as well, but uh, yeah. but you guys worked so hard this year and have really yes, come yeah. a long way. Yeah. Well, um, that's what Coach said since day one. That I mean, we needed to 
to improve, you know, mm -hmm. to work hard in our weaknesses and stuff. And hopefully we'll get offers after the season. Mm -hmm. So Well, that hard work is certainly paying, off, paying off for you. Yeah. Well, congratulations again. Yeah. Uh, on the next segment, we're going to have Coach Chumbler back in here. You are watching WK Stars Basketball Weekly. West Kentucky Community and Technical College's one book read of Saints at the River tells the story of a town divided by a tragic accident. You can meet Ron Rash, New York Times best-selling author of Saints at the River, March the 8th at 7 p.m. in the WKCTC Clemens Fine Arts Center. For more information about the free presentation, visit artsinfocus.org. Welcome back to WK Stars Basketball Weekly, Coach. In this final segment, you said uh, you wanted to talk about those guys before we get into. Yeah, yeah, Th those two guys especially, Pablo and Kilo, and you know, and I'm cl a little closer with them probably because they live in my house, <laughs> and uh, I just I know how they are. They're they're great kids. You know, they're great young men. Right. You know, in and out of the oh, classroom, man. on and off the court. You know, we we will miss them. Mm -hmm. Uh, in, in so many ways, not just right. basketball wise, yeah. but but those two guys, if they meet somebody one time, they, you know, the next time they see that person, they'll walk across the gym mm -hmm. and, and shake them or shake their hand. Not shake right. them. Kilo <laughs> could shake you, yeah, but I mean, shake their hand or hug them and you know, hello, how are you doing? You right. know, they're just they're great kids. You know what they do goes way beyond the basketball yeah. court. Man. Pablo, every time I see him, he calls out to me like I'm some big celebrity or something. Right. He just makes makes you feel good just being around them. Right. They're, they're great, great young men. We're, we're really going to miss them. And, and St. Gregory's is getting two good ones there. Yeah, yeah, maybe three. Maybe three. Yeah, hopefully so. <laughs> all right, Coach. Uh, this Saturday, that's, that's it for you. Right. This is all we got. Everything you've been playing for comes to an end this Saturday. Right. What's it going to be like? Uh, hopefully we're ready to play. Like I said, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's hard to get up for a team you just beat by 47. And you try to not come out complacent. Mm -hmm. You try to not develop bad habits because you're going to get Elizabethtown or Jefferson later. If you mm -hmm. win, you got to win first. Right. And uh, both of those teams are, are very good. You know, Jefferson beat us at Jefferson. Mm -hmm. um, Jefferson beats a lot of people at Jefferson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say anything else about that. <laughs> I remember that game. But um, – we just we have to be ready to play. Um, there's going to be some events in between. You know, you got Cam's challenge right. with his teammates and his coaches coming in. There's a dunk contest that could be unreal. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some great athletes competing in it. Uh, the three point contest. It's it's a full day of basketball. Mm -hmm. Let's go over the schedule real quick. At okay. 11 o'clock, you guys play Earl C. Clements. Right. Right. And then the next game, Elizabethtown and Jefferson. That ought to be a good game. That ought to be a great game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Jefferson just beat them by two on a last-second shot at right. Elizabethtown about three weeks ago. Right, right. So yeah, that, that should be a, be a great game. And that game is at 1 o'clock, right. and then at 3 p.m., uh, we've talked about it before, but Cam's Challenge. Right. Tell us about Cam's Challenge. It, it's uh, a game with uh, several of his former teammates and some from 
Lone Oak, St. Mary's, and McCracken. And some kids he played AAU with, and a few kids he just played against that they were really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And there's two high school coaches, Coach Andy Poor and Coach Berlin Brower. They're going to coach each respective team. And um, it's, it's some of the people, I've been in contact with a couple of the people that got Cam's organs. Mm -hmm. And the man that got his lungs is coming from Louisville. Wow. And the man who got his liver, I spoke with him yesterday. He's also coming from Louisville. Now the lady who, um, what she get his pancreas, she she can't she can't be around a lot of people yet. But I've spoken to her. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm grateful those people have reached out and That's contacted amazing. me. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I follow you, of course, on Facebook. Right. And it just seems like you have story after story uh, of how about how Cam's legacy just live continues to live on. Well, it, it's it's like my dad said. Um, we probably have more memories in 20 years than most father and sons will in a lifetime. Mm. And it doesn't, make it, it doesn't make me any better father or him any better son. It's just the situation it was. You know, I was a single father, had him by myself, mm -hmm. and it, we just did everything together, you right. know, so. Right. And then after that game, Coach, you, uh, 5 p.m. is the consolation game. Right. Hopefully you guys won't be playing in that one. I hope but, not. <laughs> if, I'm not, if we're not, I'm not sticking around for the championship. <laughs> no, I, I, you never know. I mean, you, you've got to play every right. game. I right. mean, you have to. Right. So hopefully we're not in that game. Okay. And then at 7 p.m. is the championship game that we're going to pencil you in on already. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> okay. do that. All right, I didn't say that. Just game by that. game. Edit you know. that out, whoever no. edits this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, yeah, but the se 7 p.m. is a championship game, and it ought to be an exciting one. It should be a lot of fun. I mean, it, it, it'll be high scoring, to say the least. You know, we, we're, we're pushed over, we're, I think, 10 and 2 since Christmas and averaging mm -hmm. 112 points a game. Phenomenal. And thank goodness, our de you know, our defense has finally clicked. Mm -hmm. So we're not giving, you know, we're, aver we're scoring 112, and thank goodness we're not giving up 111. Uh, <laughs> or 140. <laughs> 140, yeah. We're on the right end of it. Exactly. So, so, you know, we've done what we've needed to do. We've gotten better right. as the season's gone on. All right, Coach. Uh, thanks so much for being here today. Uh, thanks for all you have done this season with uh, with these kids and I mean your hard work's paying off you, we talked about three kids right here today who are going on to uh, to greener pastures out there right but that's a, that's a product not me that's a product of everyone mm -hmm. you know that this show and, and our games that's great for recruiting mm -hmm. uh, Amy Elmore does so much yeah. Justin Hill is, is irreplaceable you know right. he uh, yeah. be hard to do things it's a product of everyone working together right. well I'm so. glad we could work together with you right. and we will work again this Saturday and then we'll see you back one more time uh, next Wednesday you have been watching WK Stars Basketball Weekly.